Do you know what a wallflower is? You know the expression, someone's a wallflower? It's where they kind of hide away and they get all shy and reserved and a little bit nervous about meeting people. You see them normally drifting in the corners. And if it's a guy, he's standing there by the bar, he's holding his, his beer tight as, tight as he possibly can, hoping that no one's going to approach him. So a wallflower, someone who really kind of struggles with face-to-face -face networking. But networking doesn't only happen in this environment. So one of the co-founders of Auric, which Alison knows well, is a wallflower. Well, she actually really is, even though she's like a tiger in the business. She hates face-to-face -face networking. Hates it more than anything you can imagine. She feels shy, she feels awkward, she hates what she refers to as small talk, and she just generally doesn't enjoy that environment. But let me tell you where she's really, really good. Do you recognize every single one of those? Or how many do you recognize there? Okay, we're familiar with Twitter? A Twitter's a microblog, for those of you who don't know. It's a profile you create for yourself, for free. You give a Twitter handle, which is linked to your name or to your business, and you make comments and follow people in your industry. And if you follow someone in your industry who's saying something interesting, and you respond, it's the very, very early stages of, let's call it, digital networking. YouTube. YouTube is a pitch, but in a film, in many ways. It's a visual pitch. And right now, YouTube is growing at a faster pace than almost any other social media network. What's going to be happening in South Africa is eventually, when government sorts itself out on our communications policy, we will have bandwidth like the rest of the world. And when we have bandwidth, it means that access to internet and speed of internet is going to get cheaper and faster every single time. The moment that happens, most messages on websites are going to be delivered through film. Because if you're servicing, especially entrepreneurs, how many entrepreneurs read? Jeez, there's no time. There's no time. We listen to radio, we'll watch late night TV shows, but there's no time. Because when you run your own business, it's 24-7. Facebook, everyone familiar with it? Is Facebook a good networking tool? I don't know. Surely the answer is it depends. If you're business to business, Facebook is not such a lacquer tool necessarily. So all these big companies are going out there and getting Facebook profiles because they're being sold a little bit, in my view, by the big advertising agencies to create more activity and work. But mostly, Facebook's very good for business-to-consumer interaction. LinkedIn, it is the best business tool of choice. Guys, LinkedIn, you've got to figure it out, you've got to get on there for free. Put yourself out there, because if you're not in the traffic, you're a pedestrian. And you'll be sitting there wondering why everyone is shooting by and you're not moving. These other things, pin interest, well, it has a role to play if you, for example, in interior design or the food industry, RSS feeds and blogs. So she uses social media very, very actively. It gets her into the traffic, it gets her into the know. Let me tell you another reason why you should get onto Twitter. So some of the work that, and this is not a pitch for Nedbank at all, but it just so happens that they are doing some pretty exciting work. They've allowed me to create a whole lot of blogs on radio, not blogs, podcasts. A podcast is a recording about a subject, a topic. Okay. Family businesses are full of problems. They're the most powerful dynamic you can have in a business, but it can also be very problematic. So we created a whole lot of blogs, or not blogs, podcasts, insights into family businesses. It sits on the 702 website. It's free. It gives you an insight into some of the challenges and how to resolve them when you've got conflict with your parent, or you've got conflict with your child. Sibling rivalry. How dad doesn't want to risk anything because this is his pension, and the son who's coming to the business wants to put new ideas forward, like computerizing the business, as an example. So, that over there, 
That RSS feed basically says, notify me whenever it becomes available. Business Accelerators, which runs on 702 in Cape Talk, is an invitation to entrepreneurs to come and pitch their businesses for free to 1.2 million people in Gauteng. You wouldn't know about it if you don't follow on Twitter. The next thing that she does is she gets very involved in things called forums and research. So you're familiar with what a forum is? Okay, so a forum is, it's like a very specialized digital space where people in tax, for example, Peter, would come together to debate issues, an interpretation of a clause, for example, or how it could be applied. And you can create a forum, there are many different ways of doing it, on free software that's available, where you spark an area of interest. You could create a forum, for example, Jean-Pierre, on the challenges of Francophone countries importing exporting together. But it attracts people who have a very particular interest on an intellectual level into an area of subject. Research. Corinne gets actively involved in research. Every year, there's a GEM survey that comes out, the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor. We're involved in the space of working with entrepreneurs. It matters to us. She's one of the lead researchers in that space. And through that, she creates a network that's very different to the network that I, for example, would create. It doesn't require superficial face-to-face -face early stage interpretations with other people. But it means that you've got to find the area of research that's relevant to you, and you've got to earn a right to be involved in it. It can be immensely powerful. And then, who's heard of this business? Meetup. Okay, so you must look up meetup.com. It's an international business. And last week, I was overseas. I went to go and see some entrepreneurs in London. And I thought to myself, hey, I want to hook up with a couple of entrepreneurs in um, the startup industry in printing. Okay, that's quite niche, isn't it? Like startups specifically in printing, which is a dying, boring, dead business. And I found a meetup. And a meetup really is a group of people who have a common interest in quite a specific area. And they then invite each other to meet at the local pub down the road or a restaurant over there or at an event at uh, a park or whatever the case might be. It's used for social interaction and it's used extensively to have business networking opportunities. If you can't find an event where you can network effectively, who cares? Who cares? Hopefully you care. Because if you don't, no one else does. Through Meetup, there's no excuse not to create events that matter to you, where you can make sure your return on time is going to be far more exciting than if it's some arbitrary event that you visited and popped into. So there are other ways to do this. And in fact, anything that we do in the physical world should be extended into the digital world. That digital world is huge. One of the entrepreneurs I met in London, Kevin Segley, he's from South Africa. He's four and a half years into his startup. He does a turnover of about $30,000 a month. So call it a four million rand business. Okay. He's got five, there are five of them. He's only ever met face to face his chief operating officer. His three other technical directors One's in Greece, one's in Poland, and one's in Russia. But they hook up through the net and they do business as if they're right in front of each other. Four and a half years in the making. We're not quite there yet as South Africans. We don't have that culture and mentality yet. But if we get into that space where we open our lives up into the digital arena, it's remarkable what will come through and present itself to you. You don't know until you do it. Okay, are there any questions on the tech side here? It's not that hard. Everything here doesn't cost anything other than time. It's actually quite easy. And it's for free. 
So, life's a pitch. Life's a pitch. When you're an entrepreneur, it's 24-7, 365. Every conversation you have is a pitch without fail. Remember what we said. It's not what you know, but who you know. And I'd like to add something to this. And who knows you? Thank you very much.